Hello, this is the Treasure Trove of Curios and I'm Rebecca. I'm going to continue today sorting through some of the things that I picked up in my house clean out. Now at the start I'm going to let you know that I was contacted by the lady and she told me that she had a few other things that I might be interested in. So I went back again <laughs> and I spent another $30. So my total spend was $480. In amongst the things that I um, picked up the other day was an entire box of Blue Willow. There's a few different names on these ones um, within the box. This one is a Woodsware. So there's an entire box. I'm yet to go through and sort through all of it and work out what sort of patterns I've got and things, uh, sorry, what sort of um, names I've got, what's broken, what's not, you know, what I can put together as a set. Sorry, my cat is trying to join in. Here's Freckles and she's loving the blanket. So let's continue. Now that I've made everything a bit wonky, there we go. So in this video I'd like to show you some of the variety of things that I have picked up from this house clean out because there's a lot of different things. So I'll start with this amber jug. So this is a water or lemonade jug. I can't see any seams in it anywhere. So I would say that it's blown and the handle applied, though don't quote me on that. It's a vintage piece. It's kind of got a bit of an art deco feel to it with these lines here. But being a single item by itself and not a whole set, it wouldn't sell particularly well. I'm assuming probably around the $10 mark for this one. But I have a different set. Sorry reaching down. I have got a new inbox set here. Now I'm not sure how you pronounce this name. I'm going to get the right side of the box. Bormioli. Don't quote me on it. I'm guessing it's something like that. Uh, so this is an Italian set. Ow! Sorry the cat's being a little bit too affectionate. Uh, there's six glasses, they're all the same, some are upside down and some are not, and then the, the jug that goes with it. Freckles, honey, come over here. Love that blanket. Now I had a lot of trouble finding sets by this name, but Amber doesn't sell particularly well. It's not one of the colours that is most fashionable, I suppose. So this is probably about $20 to $25 for this set. I know I said that I was going to show you a variety of things and the first two items have been very similar, but I just wanted to show you the difference between the one item and the set, which they're not the same style, they're not the same makers or anything, but they're both amber glass. I'm hoping that because it's new in box, I may be able to get it up to that next bracket, so it may get up to the the thirty to forty dollar mark. But we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Now there's a lot of salt and pepper shaker sets. Um, this one is new in box, though there are no names on it anywhere. So I'm not really sure who's made it. I I guess that because there's no names, it's nothing particularly special. So it's probably a $5 type set, this one. But it's actually quite nice. This is something that I would use. It's got the wood and the metal. 
with that crystal sort of style shape on the shakers themselves. Now there's other salt and pepper shakers that I have got in the collection of things that I picked up from the, the house clean out, but I couldn't find them because they're in one of the boxes. <laughs> so I sh I've showed you one of the sets that was easily accessible and I knew where it was. <laughs> So, next I want to show you this. This is a planter, I would assume. It's quite solid and heavy. It's got a pretty gorgeous pink and green sort of splatter glaze. but it doesn't have any names on it. I can't find any names anywhere. It's got some slight um, crazing that's happening. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Oh, you might be able to. There we go. So it has got some crazing in it, which I think is genuine crazing, not fake crazing. So it's got a bit of age to it, but it's nice. It's got a really unique shape and I'm not sure what, how to describe this shape <laughs> but lovely pink and green Karen maybe this is something that you would like my friend Karen she um, is very much into pink and green they're her favorite color combination which carrying on with the Karen and pink and green theme I picked up this beautiful vintage hat. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I'd say that it is late 50s, early 60s. I'm not very good with hats. I don't look particularly good in hats. Though I've done plenty of hat modeling in my time. Would be worn something like this, probably with more appropriate hair. <laughs> I've done some of that hat modelling with Karen and the cat's come back to join in again. Unfortunately it's got a little bit of a, a stain here but it's not that noticeable and it's still really pretty. I haven't decided whether I'm going to sell this or keep it. We shall see. Now there's a lot of kitchen sort of items that I've picked up from the house clean out. Things varying from egg beaters, old school egg beaters. Now these actually sell for about five dollars each which is incredible <laughs> but um, there's lots of vintage cooking items that even just as display pieces would be really great. So that's one item and there's an awful lot of Pyrex. So this one's a new piece, as you can see there. Not a particularly old piece. Um, but Pyrex of course sells really well, it's got such a great name. And so there's lots of mismatched pieces but when you put all of those together it makes quite a, a decent amount of Pyrex and quite a good set. So um, individual items may only sell for two or three dollars. But when you add all of that up, you've got quite a bit, which is something that I'm, I wanna highlight in this video is that nothing here that I've got is a particularly high selling item. The hat is probably one of the the biggest sellers I would say. So this is probably worth about $20, possibly $25, but I would say less than that given the stain. Maybe only $15. Um, but when you put together lots of items of $5 to $10, by the time you add all of that up, that's quite a lot. So 
that's sort of my plan with a lot of the the items that I've picked up from the house clean out is not necessarily to get the most amount of money that I possibly can for it but to sell them off individually for a fair price and over the many 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 items that I've collected that will add up to a decent amount of money that's the plan anyway so I've got here a teacup and saucer set this is a bit dusty and dirty so this is a luster set as you can see there and here's the saucer and it is made in Japan now made in Japan things don't sell particularly well but this is quite a unique one being th the three-footed design with the gold and it's really quite pretty and is also pink and green <laughs> we've got quite a theme going on today so this is probably about ten dollars I would say for this set and I've got quite a lot of teacup and saucer sets you're right there kitty so over the course of all of them, that'll add up to quite a nice figure. This is just one of the ones that I pulled out to show you, one of the possibly more interesting ones that was in that box anyway. There are other boxes. <laughs> um, almost forgot. I have a Satin Glow Silver tray here. Now this is brand new and it is, I'll see if this is going to pick up because it's shiny. It is tarnish protected. I couldn't quite work out exactly how old these are. They're not that old. Brand new with all of the stickers. And that one just came off the back there. But these don't sell particularly well. So this is probably about $5 perhaps. Some of the other trays that I picked up are certainly worth more than, than this one. This one's not one of those sort of collectible items. So it's a five to 10 sort of dollar item, probably more along the $5 line, even though it is brand new, still got all its, all its stickers and everything. Now one of the items that I was quite interested by was this. It's a sugar bowl with lid and it's got a really great pattern on it. And it has pretty colours and I like pretty colours. So there's the bottom of it. Now I'm sure I'm going to muck up the pronunciation here. Turi design, Lotti, and it is made in Norway. Now I saw a comp for one of these. That's a completed item as sold on eBay. So recently one exactly the same as this has been sold for $20. So I hope that I will also be able to get that for this one. It's got no damage on it, it's really great. So this is one of the other higher sort of selling items in this set. Anyway, um, now I had this thought. My uncle Greg asked me if there happened to be any, um, any typewriters at the house clean out and so when I went back I did ask and unfortunately no there are not any he was interested because he would like to have one for himself as a keepsake and that made me think gee I wonder what other people are looking for 
maybe these are things that I can keep an eye out for when I'm out and about or if I'm doing a house clean out or um, at going to visit op shops or things maybe there are some things out there that you might be interested in that I can keep an eye on for and then you will have the opportunity to come across them so if there's something that you are interested in that you would like me to have a look for please pop that down in the comments below anyway i hope you're all keeping well stay safe and um, tune in in another four days for the next video and make sure to have a look at my ebay channel uh, my ebay store which i will put the link in the description so that you can go have a look there and see some of the interesting things that I have for sale and these items here that I've been showing you today along with many others will be popping up soon so I hope you enjoy those as well anyway take care Ta-ra! here is my freckles kitty who was sort of half being in the video but was a little bit shy. <laughs> I'm not sure that she's impressed. You can see those claws, that's why the ouch, because she was being a little too affectionate. <laughs>